Hey everybody, welcome back to another tutorial for converting uh, KEX files uh, from different sorts of uh, virtual object files and importing them into the real flight simulator. So today we're just going to focus on a pretty basic uh, step in this process, but also a very important one is how to use this 3DX to KEX converter. Uh, and this is how we get any of our virtual objects into the KEX format that we need to get it into real flight. Uh, this can be downloaded off uh, some of the Knife Edge forums, if you can find that online. And uh, so let's just get started here real quick. So actually, this is an executable file that you need to run in our command prompt here. So we're going to open up command prompt. Um, and I'm, we're just going to use the desktop as the tutorial directory for this tutorial. Uh, so we're going to change the directory to the desktop. Okay, so now we're in the desktop. The commands uh, to run this, uh, you can see here that this is the 3DS file. So you just, just need the 3DS file. You don't have to have the TGA file that is going to be needed to import the KEX file into it. Um, but all you need is the 3DS file. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to um, type in 3ds to kex and so that's going to be the name of the executable file we're going to run I'm going to type in a space and then dash v3 these are codes that um, suppress some of the output so there's not like uh, a lot of l extra lines in the output and then we're going to type uh, dash s which is another suppressor and then the last input that you need is going to be the name of the file which in this case it's called coae building uh, 4 and then make sure to type in the extension too so you do have to have that proper extension on there uh, it's really that simple and then all you do is hit enter and you'll see here that it has a command line done uh, you can look in here uh, this one um, I'll go over details in other tutorials about requirements for what how to export 3ds files but you know if there is a collision mesh in here it'll it'll recognize that or it'll give you errors or something that like it needs a collision mesh or uh, something else was wrong or something with it or anything like that so uh, but this one was already set up well and I'll explain how to do that in other tutorials but the outputs it inputs it into outputs it onto the same folder from there and it comes with a support file and a KEX file and those are going to be used to import it into Real Flight Simulator later. So uh, thanks for watching though and stay tuned for more, more tutorials.